So I asked my brother if I could move in with him, and he said yes. Uh, after I got there, his birthday was coming up, so I asked him what he wanted for his birthday, and he said he was thinking about making beer. So I went out and I bought him a book on how to make beer, but it turned out it wasn't the worst beer I ever had, but since they think, well, my brother can do it this good, I figured, you know, I could do a little better. So I made a batch of beer, and he made more beer. And we started entering our beer in contests, and we started winning awards, and entered more contests and won more awards. And all of our friends started saying, you guys should open up a brewery. And when you're 20 something years old, you know, you believe them. What we decided to do is buy a bunch of 55 gallon stainless steel drum and built ourselves a 55 gallon stainless steel drum brewery, which we opened on December 2nd, 1987. And ever since then, we've been adding a piece of equipment here and a piece of equipment there to what we built today. The bottom line here, first thing we do is we load the bottles on the conveyor. We use the Climax case unpacker, which will take them out of the case and move them on up to the unload table. The main challenge that you have when you're in business is that you don't have any money to buy the equipment you should have, and you have to live within your own means. So we were lucky enough to grow at our own pace that we needed to, and put equipment in, and not overextend ourselves. Lakefront has been an important part of the Milwaukee craft brewing industry for a long time. Uh, they've had an older piece of KHS equipment in the filling room uh, that had certainly seen uh, better years behind it. Lakefront had pretty much told us what their, their physical capabilities or capacities of the filler needed to be. So we had a filling speed, we had a fill level, fill accuracy, and from that point we decided on an automation platform. And Ross and I had both agreed that Rockwell would be the automation platform of choice. In this case, we had to come up with something that would take the technology that they had in their big fillers, scale it down to this small filler, think about the maintenance people that were involved. This machine met its specs, it's small enough, it fits in there, and you know, right now it's running about 200 to 250 bottles a minute, but can go much faster. Using a KHS filler, using Rockwell controls, we can actually keep down the oxygen content in the beer as it's delivered from the package, which is very important because less oxygen means less spoilage of the product. They can keep it longer and retain that really vibrant taste from Lakefront. It's one of my first times I've actually been able to go out and buy a new piece of equipment. Up to this point, I constantly was buying used equipment. And it was nice to have professional people that you can go and you can count on to, uh, to answer your questions and, and to come when you have a, a concern. We're all very proud uh, to have such a vibrant, growing craft brewery so close to our manufacturing location. And uh, we all take a lot of personal pride in every machine that we build. And it's just been a very positive experience. Uh, I'm a home brewer. Uh, so I, I partake and I also produce a little bit. It's always an enjoyable, exciting part of my work that I look forward to. I like to think we had good beer before, but it, it, it makes a big difference to the employees here to know that you're making the best product that you possibly can and that we are investing in new technology to improve as we go along. I almost feel like we're artists or like a musician, you can come in every day and you can create something new or, or there's always something that you can improve on to make things a little bit better out there for everybody. So it's just not for your employees, but it's also for the, the city and the town and, and making uh, just, just a, a product everybody can be proud of.